It's open AI's world and we're just living in it. The company is talking with iPod designer Johnny Ive about an AI hardware device, in talks to raise fresh capital at an 80 to 90 billion dollar valuation, and freaking absolutely everyone out by joking about AGI being achieved inside the company. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. So as you could probably guess from that introduction, today's topic or set of topics really is all about open AI. There was a bunch of news over the last 24 hours, and we're going to go through it piece by piece, starting with the big headline that the company is exploring a new capital raise at a significantly marked up valuation. So by way of background, OpenAI is, of course, 49% owned by Microsoft and has raised $11 billion so far. The big $10 billion Microsoft investment was done at a post-money valuation of around $30 billion, which is how they own about half of the company. So raising at between $80 or $90 billion would represent some serious paper gains, if nothing else, for Microsoft. Now, it doesn't appear to me, based on the little information that we have, that this deal is really about OpenAI trying to add to their war chest. Instead, it looks to me like a combination of one, wanting to give some early employees a little bit of liquidity on their shares, and two, giving a set of new investors who aren't on the cap table yet a chance to get involved. The Wall Street Journal writes, the deal is expected to allow employees to sell their existing shares as opposed to the company issuing new ones to raise additional capital. Now, why would this make sense? Well, of course, AI is just about the hottest labor market that exists. There is a constant back and forth flow of talent between the big players, incredibly inflated salaries, and just in general, a huge competition for the best talent. OpenAI opening up this additional investment opportunity potentially gives them the ability to incentivize employees by showing that they're committed to helping them get liquidity on their equity earlier than they might otherwise have. That could be a strong inducement, for example, for people to stick around to continue vesting. Now, if they do achieve that 80 or $90 billion valuation, the WSJ points out that that would make them one of the most valuable startups in the world behind only basically SpaceX and TikTok or rather TikTok owner ByteDance. In terms of total amount, the raise would be on the order of hundreds of millions of dollars, not billions. And the one new investor that has been mentioned frequently in the press is, of course, SoftBank. Now, one open question is whether SoftBank would come in just through this employee tender offer, or whether there would be an entirely new round priced at the minimum price of this employee share sale, but representing a bigger raise overall. Now, we've heard recently a lot about SoftBank and its desire to go even deeper in the AI space. The investment giant made a ton of money in the ARM IPO and reportedly wants to redeploy that capital into the artificial intelligence space. On September 16th, Reuters wrote a piece called SoftBank Seeks OpenAI Tie-Up as Sun Plans Deal Spree After ARM IPO. That article suggested that Masayoshi Sun, the head of SoftBank, of course, speaks, quote, almost every day to OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Now, in the wider community, this has raised questions of whether we are now officially in an AI bubble, at least in terms of valuations. We had big short memes all over Twitter, and more thoughtfully, Framework Ventures investor Vance Spencer wrote, feel pretty comfortable calling the local top on AI as OpenAI goes out to sell shares at $90 billion. AI is likely frothier than crypto was at its peak. There simply isn't enough end-user demand for AI-enabled products yet. Rounds getting done at 100 to 1,000 x ARR. AI startups already starting to feel fatigued as incumbents simply adopt the tech and distribute it themselves. Meanwhile, you can buy high growth at less than 20 PE in crypto. When the AI bubble pops, I'll be there to buy the capitulation. It's not personal. I believe AI will be hugely important over the long term. Now, there's an interesting question about whether OpenAI being able to raise at $90 billion and that being legitimate and other AI startups being overvalued are actually mutually exclusive events. What I mean by that is that we've talked a lot, including up until yesterday, about how challenging the environment is for AI startups, given that the market is really prioritizing either A, completely novel and differentiated foundation models, or B, existing trusted relationships around enterprise data, both of which put small startups at a pretty significant disadvantage. But even in the case that many of those smaller startups are currently overvalued, it doesn't necessarily mean that OpenAI at 90 billion is. Remember, OpenAI is playing at that big foundation model space and is, at least for now, still beating all the other giants, indeed forcing some like Meta to adopt a totally different strategy in open source than they might otherwise have. A $90 billion valuation seems like a lot, unless you believe that OpenAI is destined to be a trillion-dollar company. Now, in terms of things that OpenAI might be doing that would get investors excited, the information is also reporting that Johnny Ive, best known as the head of design at Apple during the golden age in which it introduced the iPod, the iMac, and so many other of the innovations that we use every day, has been talking with Sam Altman around an AI hardware project. Now, interestingly, apparently Masayoshi Sun, the SoftBank CEO, has talked to both of these guys about the idea. 
As the information writes, it is not clear what the device would be or if they will decide to build it, but the two leaders who are friends have been discussing what new hardware for the age of AI could look like. It's also unclear whether any new device would be made by OpenAI or a new company. Now, of course, the question is whether a hardware device would actually be value accretive for OpenAI or would just be a huge distraction. The DNA that it takes to build great hardware is different than it takes to build great software. Now, it's not to say that OpenAI doesn't have that DNA, but it certainly hasn't been tested. Then again, Johnny does. And so maybe the tie-up makes some amount of sense. Now, it's fair to say that probably the most hyped AI-related hardware device right now is called Humane. Humane is a wearable AI assistant that attempts to totally change the interface for how we interact with computers. It was demoed first at TED earlier this year and represents a full break with the phone as the device is completely standalone and doesn't need a phone or PC to interface with it. So some of the things in that initial demo included summarizing emails, calendar invites, and messages from a busy workday, the device quote-unquote seeing a chocolate bar, and giving the person doing the demo advice about whether or not he should eat it based on his dietary requirements. There's a sort of projection screen that puts information on nearby surfaces. And maybe the most discussed part of this was a translation demonstration in which the CEO who was doing the demo holds down a button on the device, says a sentence, and then hears it read back in his voice in a different language, in this case French. Now, it's interesting because we're seeing that sort of functionality become quickly commodified, given that we've just had announcements from YouTube and Spotify about that sort of AI translation. But put in the context of a wearable device, especially for people who are traveling, and that's obviously quite a game changer. Now, interesting to note, in 2020, it was Sam Altman himself who co-led a $30 million Series A in that company, Humane. He also participated in a $100 million Series B in 2021 and a $100 million Series C in 2023. Humane also appears to be building on top of OpenAI's technology. And this AI-integrated wearable thing is definitely a trend I'm seeing more of. Just yesterday, I saw a video from Whoop, which is a wearable device, where the CEO said, Breaking, we've partnered with OpenAI to launch Whoop Coach today, the most advanced generative AI feature ever to be released by a wearable. Members can now ask Whoop anything about their data and receive instant feedback. So for example, hey, Whoop Coach, what's a great strength training workout for me today? I just sat in traffic, how do I chill out? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So chalk AI integrated wearables up to another trend that we will need to spend some time on. Now, lastly today, when it comes to open AI, we're going to look at a little joke that some people didn't think was very funny. Now, for context on this, let's actually go back a couple days to rumors that we got over the weekend on Reddit around advanced OpenAI internal models that hadn't been released yet publicly. One of the models the poster claimed was called Iraqis, and they said it, quote, far exceeds GPT-4's capabilities and is really close to AGI. The poster goes on, honestly, if GPT-4 was slightly conscious, then there are going to be a lot of ethical talks in that regard about this model, but Altman will want to view it as just a tool, even if there is a chance it is somehow actually conscious. Now, the mystery was increased by the fact that recently, a Twitter account known as Jimmy Apples had tweeted the quote, AGI has been achieved internally. In general, people probably wouldn't take this very seriously, except for the fact that all the way back in April, the account was talking about a more advanced model inside OpenAI called Gobi, and now we've had a number of different independent verifiers say that such a model with that name exists. Heightening the mystery even more, Jimmy Apple's Twitter account no longer seems to exist. But just yesterday, Sam Altman responded to a thread on Reddit. A thread, in fact, noticing that Jimmy Apple's account had been deleted from Twitter slash X, and Altman said, AGI has been achieved internally. People raced to Twitter slash X to talk about it. Jan Pelig said, first comment in seven years, which eventually led to Sam editing it and saying, edit, obviously this is just memeing, y'all have no chill. When AGI is achieved, it will not be announced with a Reddit comment. Now, some people saw this as an unbelievable troll. The AI safety memes account posted an image of it saying troll 100 and saying LMAO Sam A commented from his real Reddit account, AGI has been achieved internally and gave everyone a heart attack. Others took it much more seriously. Someone tweeted, I'm all for humor, but dude, this is seriously not funny. If the commander of US Stratcom tweeted about incoming missiles as a joke, they'd be fired if not sent to jail. Eliezer Yudkowsky said, My guess, OpenAI is trying to preemptively destroy the word AGI in order to destroy the possibility of coordinated political action about it. And yet others once again thought that that concern was just silly. Renji at Brick Road 7 says, Sam's joke has definitely revealed some ridiculously panicky and performative exaggerated paranoid character traits from the Doomer crowd. And just really, really rubbing it in, applied research resident at OpenAI, Will Depew, posted an image created with the new Dolly 3, which hasn't yet been released to the public, of a set of paper clips flowing over the stairs at an office building with the caption, Breaking news! OpenAI offices seen overflowing with paper clips. The joke, of course, being that one of the famous scenarios that people use to describe how AI could end the human race is if a super intelligent AI is programmed with the goal of creating the most paper clips, it might break down all the other organisms on Earth in order to get more raw material for those paper clips. 
It's meant to be an example of how AI doesn't have to be malicious in order to still cause extremely problematic consequences for humanity. But now, at least for one person inside OpenAI, it is a meme to tease the Twitter crowd with. Now, moving away from the AGI internal joke, I do think that Sully Omar makes a great point when he tweets, everyone seems to forget that OpenAI had GPT-4 vision since March and likely earlier. That was seven months ago. Imagine what they're cooking up behind the scenes. The point being, while the capacities inside OpenAI might not yet be AGI, they are certainly a lot more advanced than what we've seen so far, and as such, probably operating in even more ethical gray space than what has been released currently. Anyways, guys, interesting times. OpenAI continues to dominate mind share and product share in the space. I, of course, will do my best to keep you updated on all the important changes. But for now, I appreciate you guys listening or watching as always. If you're enjoying this, I would so appreciate it if you would take the time to leave a rating or a review. But in either case, until next time, peace.